Android will be in shortly, okay? I'm sorry to tell you, the test came back positive. All right, so um, what about, you know, treatment, chemo? I'm not going to stop you. But I think we're beyond that point. Excuse me, sir. Would you like to play a game? Sorry, what? I was wondering if you would like to try your luck at a game. <laughs> oh, buddy, have you got timing. My friend, you are probably looking at the unluckiest man to walk out that door today. The name's Louie. And maybe your luck will change. I don't think so. Come on, give it a try. It will only cost you one dollar. All right. I got about another five minutes till my bus comes. All right, I'll play. Very good, then. I think your luck is about to change. So what's the object of the game? The object is simple. There are three cards. The first card is the Queen of Hearts. This card represents great love. The second card my favorite is the King of Diamonds. This card represents great wealth, all the riches you could want. And the final card, the final card is the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades holds a magnificent power. This card can allow any man to cheat death. Jesus Christ, buddy. You know, I thought this was going to be a simple game of three card Monte. Now this, this is a spiel. Let me warn you, sir. This game is not like any game you've ever played before. 
What are you talking about? You shuffle the cards, I pick the high one, right? No, sir. Not right. <sighs> All right, so what's the point? What's the point, if anything? No. How do I win? You don't win. Well, don't that just sound like life? Very much like life. All right, whatever. You've got my dollar. Shuffle the cards. Remember, sir, there is no right card and there is no wrong card. When you choose a card, look at it closely. And then you make a wish. But you can only wish on the power of the card you have chosen. You may now choose. Oh, boy. So do I tell you my wish or what? Oh, no, sir. If you tell me your wish, it cannot come true. Of course, excuse me. How could I forget? Do not doubt the power of your card, sir. There's more at stake here than just your dollar. Well, I think my bus is coming, but hey, buddy, thanks for helping me pass the time. Yes, funny how time can be a bad thing sometimes. If you're here for mass, you just missed the last one. I'm not here for mass, Father. Can I help you with something? Yes, Father. I hope you can. Mr. Calvaron? It's me, Father. Please, come with me. Mr. Calvaron, I must apologize. I am. Uh... Well, I didn't recognize you. He's a his father. I don't recognize myself. I had no idea you were even sick. About a year ago, I was diagnosed with lung cancer. By the time they had discovered it, Invaded most of my body. The doctor said it wouldn't be long before it took over the rest of my organs. Well, the fact that you're still able to get around the way that you are with everything that's going on is, well, frankly, nothing short of a miracle. You must view each day as a gift, a gift from God. A gift, Father. Perhaps you haven't been listening to me. Anyone else in my condition would be dead by now. Oh, oh this is no gift. <laughs> it's a fucking curse! <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Calvaron. Maybe I don't understand. What is it that I can do for you? I've never really been a man of faith, Father. The fact is, I 
never really believed in much of anything. That is, until the day I realized what had happened to me. You mean the me. day you were diagnosed? <laughs> no. The day I realized my wish was granted. Wish? What wish? estimation of how much time you had left was inaccurate. The doctor was completely accurate, Father. You see, the cancer did exactly what it was supposed to do. It continued to take my organs just like she said it would. I called her four months after the diagnosis. She told me this is impossible. I should Dead. I can remember the last beat that my heart ever made. <sighs> Mr. Calrone, this all does sound impossible. You must be mistaken. It's no mistake, Father.
nothing worked. I wanted to die. I prayed to die. You said that your wish came true. I was tricked. I didn't take it seriously. He was just some guy in the street playing a game. I wished that I wouldn't die. <laughs> That's exactly what I got. So now as the cancer continues to ravage my body. I live with the consequence of that wish. Which brings me back to you, Father. Surely. As a man of the cloth, you've got to be able to tell me if there's some... Some penance, some service I can perform that will help me mend this rift that I've created with God. In the book of Matthew, he speaks of Jesus in a similar situation. You see, Jesus had been wandering the desert for 40 days, 40 nights. No food, no water. Satan had appeared and tried to tempt him to drink the water and eat the food. But Jesus declined. You see, he stayed true to his father. I can't help you, Mr. Calverone. I don't know if all the Hail Marys in the world can fix this, this problem you have. You were tempted. And unlike Jesus, you drank the water and ate the food. Your debt is not with God, but, but with the one who gave you this curse. He can give back what he took from you. Excuse me. You, wait a minute. I want back what you took from me. Sir, please, you must have me confused with somebody else. No, it's you. I'm not hustling the streets anymore. Oh, yes. I remember you now. The man with the ace of spades. Did your wish come true, sir? know what you did to me. Sir, I did nothing to you. Whatever has happened is of your own doing. And please, let go of me. Fine. 
Are you going to shoot me here, sir, in broad daylight? None of this is necessary. The wish can be undone. Undone? What do you mean? I could take the wish back. Just like that? Just like that. What do we have to do? Nothing much, really. I give you a dollar back, and the wish is gone. That's it. That's it. I give it back. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm not just going to give you back your dollar. What do you mean? Why not? I want you to give me something for it. Something? Are you kidding me? It's a fucking dollar. Sir, please. It's the only way to break the wish. Something has to be given for the price of the wish. All right. What do you want? <laughs> I want you to sign your name on this card. I don't want to. Then you give it back to me. This is a joke. It is no joke, sir. Give me a pen. There you go. Oh, let me give you back your dollar. I believe this was yours. Oh, would you mind placing your card in the briefcase? Is it done? It is done, sir. Now what? Now nothing. How will I know when the spell is broken? You'll know. <laughs> <laughs>